Right, hello YouTube. Um, if any of you have been following the channel, you will know that I picked up a new NC750X from Fowler's in Bristol um, in January of this year, 2023. Um, and if you want to know what my first thoughts about the bike car, have a look at the channel. You'll find a video there with a walk around and it just gives you sort of my first impressions of the bike. Um, but this video is going to be about what I intend to do with the bike during 2023 and then um, the trips I've got planned and um, a trip that I, I hope to undertake. Um, now, some of you might be aware of the Adventure Bike um, Rider, the ABR magazine. And what they do is annually they issue a bit of a, a a challenge um, to, to complete 12 routes that are spread across the UK um, once a month. Um, they have now issued their 2023 challenge and that's available if you're interested from their website. Um, you can search for the Adventure Bike Rider Mag ABR and um, you'll be able to get a link to their, to their website. And all you have to do is provide some contact details and then they will email you um, a link to a PDF version which you can then download and save. And that will give you details of all the routes that are within, within that ch particular challenge. Um, but I'm not going to do the 2023 version. And my logic is that all the people that subscribe to the magazine um, will want to do the new the new routes. Um, and so I'm going to do the, the routes that were put in the 2022 challenge. And hopefully they'll be a little bit less busy um, and, um, you know, it might be a little bit more enjoyable without without sort of loads of people trying to do the same thing. Um, now, I'm. They, when they post the challenge, they ask you to, or they suggest you do them um, certain months, January, February, March, obviously. And um, I'm not going to do them in that order. And the reason being is that some of the trips, the start points of some of the trips are um, obviously in the northeast and in Scotland. And they require me to sort of travel some distance being based in the south to get to the start of the route. So um, I need to sort of shuffle the order a little bit that best suits my circumstances. So um, you'll know what I'm going to be doing, but obviously not when. Um, but I'll try to give you some updates um, near the time um, when I when I plan to take those trips. Um, now, um, in addition to the ABR challenge routes, I've also got a trip that's already planned. It's already booked, um, and that's a trip to to go up to Blackpool and um, also explore bits of the Peak District, um, North Wales, and bits of Shropshire. It'll probably be a week's trip or so. Well, it will be a week's trip. Um, um, now, for the NC750X fans, um, unfortunately, I won't be taking that bike on that trip. Um, my wife, Tracy, is coming with me and we'll be using the, um, the Pan-European um, for that trip. So we just need a little bit more luggage space. And with a pillion and two up, it's just um, it might be a bit better suited bike for that type of ride. Um, and plus, it will need a ride out as well. So um, we'll be taking the pan for that one. However, I do have one last trip that I hope to take that hopes to take place this year. Um, and it probably will be. There's some interest from a few riding buddies, um, so they might come along with me. Um, and that's to take the NC over to the Isle of Man. Um, I have been out there before. And one of the things that um, really struck me about the Isle of Man, there's lots more than just the obvious TT race. Um, and even though it's fun to ride the course, there's so much more that the island has to offer. So um, I'm planning to go over there with the intent of, um, and I will obviously do the TT route. You, you can't go there and not do it again. You know, you've got it's got to be done. But um, I'll also be exploring the island a little bit more and hopefully seeing some bits that are not necessarily um, obvious for most of the people that travel out there. So um, that, that'll be a bit of fun. Um, like I say, I don't know when I'm going. It's not planned yet. I don't know who's going, but we are, I hope to be able to fit that one in. Right, that's the plan. As you can see, lots of trips. Um, uh, like I said, if um, uh, I don't know when I'm going to do them, but I will let you know. Um, some of the trips are just sort of day trips. Some are overnighters. And because of the distance, some of them are going to be sort of two, three, four days, perhaps even a week for some of them. And I might combine a couple together if they, if I can dovetail them in. But um, you'll see from the from the sort of the screenshots um, where I'm going. If any of those routes go near you and you want to meet up for a coffee, I'll buy. Um, then let me know, uh, and I'll we can sort out timers, etc., and get the details done. 
anyway i'm really really looking forward to the trips um and the sort of the new bike has given me that new wanderlust for travel um so yet yeah, again most of my my activity is going to be in the uk this year but next year um i'll be getting it aboard with a bit of luck anyway that's what i'm doing catch up with you all soon bye